Cavs sweep the Toronto Raptors 4 0. Beat them 128 to like 93. DeMar DeRozan got ejected by, in the game due to a flagrant two. Um, this speaks volumes about the Toronto Raptors. It speaks to their lack of preparation, lack of execution. It sp also speaks to the fact that their coaching is, isn't as good as advertised and their players aren't good as advertised. They're the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. If they were unable to win one game, one game with home court advantage, with the deeper bench, with, some would say, they have a better point guard than George Hill and they have a better shooting guard and J.R. Smith and DeMar DeRozan. And they still went down 4-0. This speaks volumes about their play. It speaks volumes about their immaturity. It speaks volumes about their mental toughness. This used to be a word that used to be thrown around, you know, back in the day, like 20, not back in the day, but like 2014, 2013, mental toughness, mental toughness. Everybody was making jokes about it. Van Gundy was like, there's no such thing as mental toughness. There is something, there is a such thing. This is it. This is what they lack. LeBron James, absolutely sensational this entire series. Um, but even if you factor in his play, 29, 11, and 8, game 4, they let everybody else get off on them. And they just were a big sieve, couldn't stop a nosebleed. And that's been the story of their life throughout this whole entire series. They had two games in the series where they quit and two games where it was possibly close. But the fact that they have two games where they quit and they're the number one seed in the East, it's awful. And they set their franchise back, I would say, a good four to six years. It's going to be four to six years where we don't even want to hear from the Raptors, don't believe in them or anything. It, it, it was already bad when they kept losing all those game ones. But now we see who they really are, which is they're, they're not as good as advertised. Uh, I know a lot of people like Dwayne Casey as a coach, and I, I, I do think he's a good coach. But well, he's not a great coach. And a great coach would have found different ways to get his guys in positions where they could actually win games. And that's sad because they have the talent. And I don't know if they don't believe it or whatever. And if there were some assignments that were blown, if the players didn't do what they were supposed to do, that's shame on them. But as a collective, they deserve to get swept after the first couple of games and, you know, at least try to win one game. And they didn't even try to do that. So. It's a wrap. We don't want to hear from the Toronto Raptors. Uh, right now, they're, they have to go back in their dinosaur egg and, you know, await the cr uh, crustacean period or whatever the case is. This is over. It's over for them. Might blow up the team. They might fire the coach. Either one of those have to happen. If you don't want to blow up the team, you got to get rid of that coach. Yeah, because they're not responding to him. They're not responding to him.